Boys and girls, you just got done reading the book City Dog Country Frog. It was a fiction book and it did involve the seasons of the year. Um, it was a good, really good book. You could follow along and listen to it. Um, I am going to try for next week to have the stories. This one was trapped at school, so we're doing this one online. Um, but I wanted to practice today two skills, and I know you remember those, visualizing and retelling. So let's practice visualizing. Remember, when readers create an image in their mind as they read, what was your head picturing as these words were being read to you? I know you remember doing little sheets like this that we would actually draw and write about it, but today I just want you to tell someone next to you, what were you visualizing when this part of the story happened? So I want you to think about when City Dog didn't stop to sniff the falling leaves, he ran straight for the country frog's rock on the fall day. So when you picture a fall day, what were you picturing? Where would that frog and the dog be on a fall day? So I'd like you to just pause for a second and tell your someone that you're working with what you were visualizing or picturing in your brain. Okay, after you do that, go ahead and we're gonna do retelling. And I know we used to do these that you guys would cut and paste and tell me the order of the story and we can't do that anymore. So I'm going to show you our cards and I'm gonna have you help me put them in order. So here's our story and I'm gonna kind of scan them and I want you to tell me the order of the story so I know you understand what it's about. So I want, I'm just gonna go right across and you tell me when you see the first thing that happened. Oh, there it is. City dog met country frog in the spring. So spring was the first time they met. And what did they do in the spring? What did they do? You tell me when you see something, what did they do in the spring? See it? Here it is. Country frog taught city dog games in the spring. So that's our next thing. Okay, what happened after that? What happens after spring? See? Up, oh, city dog ran straight to country frog in the summer. That's the summer. Then what happened? You see it? Where is it? Oh, yep, they taught frog games. City dog taught country frog games. So after summer, what happened next? See it? Yeah. So we have spring, summer, fall. City dog ran straight to country frog in the fall. What happened in the fall? Yep, country frog was too tired to play, so they were... So they played remembering games. They thought about the spring. They thought about the summer because he was so tired. So let's take a look at what we have so far. We have spring, they played games. Then it went to summer, they played games. Fall, then they remembered because they were tired. What happens after fall? What happens after fall? Let me make sure you can see all those. So we have spring, summer, fall, Winter, city dog ran straight to country frog's rock in the winter. And what did they do in the winter? Let's look. What do they do in the winter? Oh, you're right, city dog looked for country frog, but he wasn't there. Hmm, where was he? Okay, let's look. So we have spring, fall, winter, oh, and then it goes back to spring. It was spring again, country, Chipmunk saw City Dog sitting on a rock. And then the last thing, City Dog and Country Chipmunk became friends. Thanks for helping Mrs. Masco retell the story. Good job, friends.